afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, in this video, I would really like to share with you some books and supplies that I have accumulated um, the last couple of months, really. I think um, some of the items go back to January that I received for my birthday. But please don't think that this is me in any way trying to brag or show off or kind of rub it in and be like, oh, look what I've got. It's, it's, it's really not a case of that at all. I would just like to share with you these beautiful books and supplies. And some of them I was really blessed to be sent as happy mail by some incredible people that I'm honoured to know and call my friends here in the colouring community. Um, so yeah, I, I really hope that you enjoy and if you see any books in this video that you would like a complete flip through of, then please feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Um, also a little disclaimer, this is the last day of the children's Easter holidays. They go back to school tomorrow, but you likely will hear them in the background, especially my son. Um, he's playing online with his friends at the moment and they do get quite rowdy. I have asked him to keep it down, but um, yeah, I think I think you can hear him in the background. Um, so yeah, just please... Uh, be mindful of that and um, if, you know, hearing kids in videos is not your cup of tea, then this video highly likely won't be for you. But without further ado, I will um, start off by showing you um, some supplies that I have purchased the last few months and um, yeah, we'll just sort of take it from there. So I really, really hope that you enjoy if you would also, um, I'm really sorry, this is a super long intro, isn't it? If you would like the links to anything you see here in this video, let me know and I will put them in the description for you. Um, if I link anything um, from Amazon UK, it will be an affiliate link. But US, Canada, Japan, they're not affiliates, it's only the UK. Okay, so I would first like to start off with this gorgeous tin that I purchased from Amazon and this was to put um, some handmade watercolours in that I had purchased. Um, this is a little swatch card that I've made of the paint that I have in here so far and you can see the name of the paint but then I've put like you know little kind of like initials and that's just for me so I know which company um, I purchased the paints from. So AP here stands for Archie's Paints. Um, I first heard about those on the beautiful Imogen from Colouring Kids channel. I will link her down below for you. And then I have um, AS, which is Art Spirits. R is Renaissance. Um, but yeah, look at these. They are beautiful. Um, so yeah, I purchased this tin. This piece of paper um, is from a pad of De La Rowney cold pressed watercolour paper that I purchased because um, I would really like to get into watercolour. Um, but I thought I would, you know, cut a sheet into like sort of strips and like little squares and things just to try and maximise the use out of the paper. And um, yeah, I made this swatch card for this this tin of paint. So these are the ones I have so far. The tin does come with the empty pans, but I've just been popping those out and putting them in a jar um, when I fill each space so that maybe in the future I could have a go at making my own watercolour paints and just, you know, use these. So these two here, this is Castor and Pegasus from um, Archie's Paints on Etsy. I will link those for you. And then I have Vintage Pink Mirror Dust, Magic Fairy Dust and this True Silver. These are from the beautiful Rebecca at the Art Spirits. 
again I will link her Etsy shop for you and then the other five here these are from Renaissance and I've had my eye on her shop and Rebecca's shop for a very very long time and um, yeah I bit the bullet and ordered some paints so this one is um, I think this is advent number three sketch wish liquid chrome and baby Yoda which oh my gosh the color is just look at this it's gorgeous yeah I just think all of these all of these lovely lovely ladies have done a stellar job with their watercolour paints. Um, but before I ordered these two from Archie's Paints, I first, my first order from them, I've put them in this little baggie just to sort of keep them safe. Um, I ordered, it was a mystery bag and I think it was like £8.50. Um, and um, yeah, it came with, um, let me just show you. Oh my gosh, so sorry. Let me just move those not that one that one so in the mystery bag i received all of these paints look they're really tiny dinky little pans but for eight pounds fifty for all of these i was stunned and obviously because it's a mystery bag you don't know what you're going to get um but yeah i love them the blues here, they are gorgeous. I do have these swatched somewhere, but I, I can't see my book at the moment. But yeah, they're gorgeous. Look at them. Um, and I've tried kind of, if I put them in here this way, they move around. But then if I try and put them in that way, it kind of pushes these and makes it really kind of, awkward so i need to try and find like um maybe invest in like a little tin um and some little magnets that i can just adhere adhere to these myself and put them in like a little tin but for now i've got them in this beautiful little baggie i think this bag came with um a package from renaissance from etsy but like i said i will link archie's paints art spirits and renaissance i will link those down in the description for you but with these i received <clears throat> these dot cards um i think it was just was it just these two there might have been another one but i received these two dot cards and i swatched them out and i was like oh my gosh i love them so then my, my next order from archie's paints was these two which are here and I love them. Um, and then when I received those two, I received some more stunning dot cards. There is another one. It's a it's a blue one. Um, I don't know where that one is, so I'm going to have to have a search around. But um, yeah, the the lady is called Kaylee, and she is just an absolute sweetheart she really is so i just keep all these in this beautiful little baggie for the moment just to kind of keep them safe um but yeah i'm i'm loving this tin i think they're just oh my gosh i feel very blessed um to be sort of really slowly building up my collection of these um yeah absolutely love them so it may be that in the future i'll probably need to get another one of these or maybe like a bigger one i don't know but i just i thought this was really really pretty i love the i love the colors on the tin oh put that one back in there i just need to put these back in the um bag with archie's paints as well so i will do that and be so right from renaissance colors i ordered the color shift countdown to christmas and this is what they look like look at that can you see the the color shifts i don't know if if i maybe move the lid could you can you see um they're, they're just beautiful so i did swatch them on this little black card that comes in the um 
in the tin and it's beautifully printed and then I have my own little swatch card that I made with that Windsor and Newton paper as well so it might be easier for you to maybe see the colours on here but yeah I just think they are beyond beautiful I mean they're incredible and I, I honestly cannot wait to to dive in and use these and I think these are going to look amazing in the um, the new Kirby Rosanna's book the Alien World one I can see these working just epically in that book um, and then I also had a dot card with um, the Cullinan diamond on it I haven't swatched this one yet so I do need to I do need to do that but um, yeah so I have those and I also from Renaissance purchased the afternoon tea collection the dot card um, I love sort of the vintage and kind of um, like Victorian kind of just you, do you know what I mean sort of just yeah. I hope you understand what I mean I can't um, I can't think of the word I'm just yeah my head is just mush um, but I haven't swatched these yet they look incredible and I cannot wait and again I you know please don't think I'm you know trying to brag or anything um i purchased the west end color shifts from renaissance as well um i haven't swatched these yet but i have made a swatch card on the white paper as well as um the black card that comes with them um they're, they're just incredible i've i feel beyond lucky and blessed that um, I ha now have these incredible handmade paints in my collection this one the peacock one here at the bottom can you see like the pinks and purples and greens on it it's just I could just sit and do this with the tin all day and just kind of look at them <laughs> they are just sublime absolutely magic um and i would just like to say a huge thank you to renee at renaissance um we were messaging to and fro as well and she is honestly such a beautiful lady inside and out and um it was an absolute pleasure speaking to her um so yeah i do look forward to adding more to my collection i think the next ones would be the other two in the Baby Yoda set. But, um, yeah, they're gorgeous. Okay. And now I'm moving on to some, um, some Happy Mail. And I received this. Now, this is from the incredible Imogen from Colouring Kid here on YouTube. Again, I will link her channel in the description for you. And she does also have an Etsy shop, so I will put that there for you as well. Um, and Imogen, bless her heart, she, I received this maybe two or three days ago. Um, she sent me a gorgeous um, letter um, and this envelope is handmade it's just yeah I, I'm, I'm not going to show my letter it's it's still inside but um <sighs> thank you Imogen so much um for thinking of me and sending me such a a beautiful letter and also um these gifts um we've we've spoken um and messaged and things um, but yeah, thank you so, so, so much, sweetheart. And then she also sent me these gorgeous handmade bookmarks, which um, she does sell on her Etsy shop. 
and they're beautiful i i've had a few sets of these in the past and they are amazing um absolutely beautiful and then she sent me some handmade stickers which i cannot wait i love this one and that one um <laughs> i can't wait to use these in my journals and that one <laughs> i love all of them they're gorgeous look at those that pink and green as well stunning so yeah i'm saving these for my journaling um and i've started sort of like an art journal kind of thing so i will have to put one of these in there as well and this oh my gosh the pièce de resistance um imogen colored this for me it's a beautiful postcard um i think she said it was from johanna basford's magical jungle i think imogen if i'm wrong sweetheart please correct me but she colored this for me um and i just that means more to me than I can ever put into words. The fact that, you know, she has written me a letter, sent me some handmade things and painted and coloured this for me. Um, yeah, I'm I'm speechless. I I absolutely love it and I'm always in awe of Imogen's work. And I did say this to her in a message and I was just like, I always say to myself when I'm watching Imogen, I want to colour like her. <laughs> I want to colour like Imogen when I grow up, bearing in mind I'm 41. But um, yeah, I I just, I, I adore her work. I adore Imogen as a person. But just look at that. And I am so incredibly blessed to own something that Imogen has coloured and sent to me so I do plan on going in town um tomorrow to have a look for a frame for this so I can put it up on my wall I do have a, a few things that I need to get frames for but this one is going to take a priority um because the rest are prints but this this needs to go in a frame but yeah thank you so 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 much Imogen um yeah i i i can't thank you enough sweetheart so i will put this back in the envelope with the letter put all of this away safely and then we'll move on to the next item okay um next is this beautiful pencil case let me zoom out um i purchased this from amazon because i was very kindly sent the 126 set of the Artex coloured pencils for review. Um, they sent them to me, I think I received them less than a week before Aaron passed away. So I did reach out to them and as of yet I have not done a review. I do plan on using these in um, maybe like a colour and chat or a colour along. Um, but I wanted to get a pencil case for these because even though the box they came in were absolutely beautiful I, I was struggling to sort of pull them in and out of the box so I thought you know I'm gonna get a pencil case and put them in that way and you know they, they are just I, I haven't undone the last zip but they're stunning you can see I've sharpened them all as well there's some that you can see have been used let me shift it that way there you go a few here um but yeah they are incredible and they are so beautiful to use and can i just say i personally think these work great on amazon paper as well they are wonderful they're really soft they blend beautifully they layer quite well they're not as soft as a prisma i don't think anything is or possibly ever will be but i love these and i would 100 percent recommend them um if you would like a link to those please let me know but um yeah i got the case to put them in and i just thought how pretty with all these beautiful different colors on and with the black background it really makes them pop 
so that is it for the supplies. Um, let me just move that one down there. Okay, so we're now going to move on to books. Um, I'm aware that we are at like 20, nearly 22 minutes, so I will try and get a bit of a wiggle on. Okay, so for my birthday, my beautiful friend Zoe and her partner Steve. Let me just zoom in a bit. Okay. So they sent me the gorgeous Aria Veil vale book by Chroma. This is so cute. It's a very thin book, but the pages are adorable. And I think, you know, lots of people have seen this on um, on YouTube now. I completed this one for Pixie's Projects. Um, I think that was January, January or February prompt that one. Well, um, the page, sorry. So that's the only page I've coloured in here so far. But yeah, I, I love it. So cute. Single sided. The line art is quite thin, but you know, it's 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 adorable. And these are just such pretty pictures, you know, and I've got my little gift note there stuck in the front. So thank you so so much, Zoe and Steve, for my beautiful book. Um also for my birthday, they sent me 50 Woodland Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. Oh, guys, this is so beautiful. I love this book. Um, and Zoe and I are going to work through this as a project book together. But, yeah, it's it's just so cute. Um, I don't think I showed these in my February completed pages. Hmm. That's not good. Oh, well, you get a sneaky peek now then. <laughs> Let me take the tags out. Um, yeah, so I've got my gift note again there. Um, that was the other page that I coloured. Um, I think they were my... No, they. I coloured those on my own. And then Zoe and I have coloured that one together. That was the first page we worked on. And I put Zoe and Kate there because we both celebrate our birthdays in January. And I chose another one. I chose that one. Um, but yeah, this book is just the cutest. Really, really pretty. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for these books for my birthday. I know I thanked you at the time, but... You know, thank you again so so much. They're they're beautiful. I really do appreciate it. Um, and then um, the other day I received um some happy mail from my amazing friend Reese here at Reese's Coloring Creations. I will link their channel down in the description for you as well. Um, and they sent me Matchstick Mouse, a springtime coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. I'm obsessed with these books and I think now I just have the floral and the summer book to get and then I'll have the whole collection but they are beautiful um I I absolutely love it and I I can't wait to color more in this one I am working on a page at the moment which is very nearly done this one <laughs> um this is just based in alcohol marker and I've been shading over the top with, um, oh my gosh, um, oh, what pencils have I been using? Oh, my polychromos. <laughs> so yeah, I've been shading with that and I've added some white, um, oh, the, um, the Graby paint pen. So yeah, you get a sneak peek there of an April page. I've just got to finish the shading on the leaves. Um, and then I'm going to paint the berries with one of my Renaissance paints, I think. And then I'm going to stick some little, little um, yellow butterflies. I've got them out because I want to finish this page today. These little Nouveau sunset yellow butterflies. I want to just sort of dot a couple of those around. 
But um, yeah, I I love it. I I still need to stick my um my gift tag in. But thank you so much for thinking of me, Reese, and you know, and for sending me these these books. Um, you know, it's like a thinking of you kind of gift. I. I was speechless when I received them. So honestly, sweetheart, thank you so, so much. Um, and Reese also sent me this one, TV Girls Doodle by April Amber. Loving these books right now. Um, and this is exactly the kind of colouring that I've been needing at the moment. Um, but yeah, you get two sets of pages in this one. They are single-sided. And again... I started a page in this one. The, the day that I received it from Reese, I started this one. But my alcohol markers seem to go like really streaky on these two clouds. Don't look too bad on the others, but really streaky on these. And then one of my pens actually kind of like pooled. I, I was colouring and it just sort of like blobbed out a load of ink here. So that's frustrating, but I might be able to cover that up. But... um. Yeah, I think now because of this, I feel like I need to add some shading to it um, and then some gel pen. But um, this book is so cute. I'm Like I said, I'm loving April Amber's books and I've got one saved in my Amazon basket at the moment. So I think it's the second one. Yeah, because I've got Chibi Gals Cute and I've got this one and I've got the volume one. I did have another book. Um, I can't remember if that was volume one or if it was a different one, but um, yeah, Emmy's got that one now. <laughs> so yeah, these are just so cute. I'm really enjoying colouring these. Um, yeah, they're definitely kind of like things like this, um, just sort of like the more simplistic pages are very much a comfort for me at the moment. So yeah, thank you again so much, Reese. For these beautiful books okay um and next i have some books that my amazing friend connor sent me bless him so for my birthday he um he sent me the disney grand block graffitis book i'm obsessed i think this is definitely my favorite of the disney grand block books that i have i think this and the magic one oh my gosh but yeah this one is just oh love it <laughs> absolutely love it but I have got it in a display book with another um another Disney book which I will show you in a sec um <clears throat> but yeah please excuse the glare on these let me try and shift those books back a bit okay so yeah these are so much fun I, I love it. I love the style of them. They're really fun. Love this one of Stitch. He might have to be the next one. I have coloured one from here already. Look at this with Sisu. Yeah, gorgeous. I coloured Mushu, this one. And I done him for the beautiful Jamie at Jamie's Colouring Love. I done him for her um, enchanting year of colour, colour along that she's doing this year, and this was the January prompt for Dragon, and I completed him for that, and I loved every single minute of working on that, and I found colouring all this in black in the background and going like making sure I was avoiding the little white splatter marks and stuff. That was so relaxing. <laughs> I loved it. It's really, really good. Um, and I've I've never ever coloured Mushu before, so I had to um, reference him from my Disney Who's Who book and colour him. But yeah, I I love how he turned out. Um, and then I purchased the Disney Silhouettes Magique a book. Um, I purchased this in January, I think. Um, and I coloured a page in here for Aaron. And he was so chuffed with it when I showed him. Um, so I am going to be getting a frame for this picture and putting it with some of his other bits and pieces. But 
yeah, you get the silhouette of the character and then like different things around them. Um, and I just think, I think it's a really clever concept. I really do. They're, some of them are really detailed, so you're kind of better off, I think, with fine liners. Um, but yeah, I coloured him a Don the Donald Duck one. Yeah, this one. And like I said, he was so, so happy with it. So I do need to get a frame for this and put that with Aaron's, Aaron's picture and stuff. Um, so yeah, that was that one. And I, I loved it. I did have to sort of keep coming back and chipping away at it a little bit, especially when it comes to shading these flowers. I was just like, oh, that's the last bit I need to do on the page and then just add like some jelly roll moonlight highlights. But um, yeah, I got it done. So that was those two books and um, again, Connor, thank you so much for sending me these gifts. I've got a few more books here now to show from you, but y you know how much our friendship means to me um, and how much your friendship meant to Aaron as well. You know, we, we all just used to have a, a really nice sort of chat whether it was video call or normal call like the three of us would often chat and it was it was lovely um but yeah thank you so so much sweetheart i i love the graffiti one it is amazing um if i can i will link connie's um instagram down below if i can he doesn't have a youtube channel yet but keep an eye out because uh One's going to be happening in the very near future. So, <laughs> spoilers. Um, he also sent me um, the Harry Potter Magical Art colouring book. This is by Scholastic. I think I saw this on Jamie's channel. I want to say it was Jamie's channel. And, I yeah, I fell in love with it. So I saved it in my Amazon wish list thinking, right, I need to save that book and I'll get that at a later time love this i love luna lovegood from harry potter i think she's great um yeah so these pages are double-sided but i i i think they're brilliant and i'm quite happy to use like maybe water-based like markers or we could maybe try like some paint in here and of course pencils and gel pens and stuff um but yeah and I started this one. I started a very, very tiny bit on Luna, but the pencils I was using, I wasn't, I wasn't liking them on this paper. So, um, hey, Link. So I need to, um, yeah, find some, like, um, sorry, try some different pencils on this. But I love this double page spread. But I really wanted to start with Luna because I, I love her. But yeah absolutely brilliant this one so thank you again so much connor um and he also sent me mystic animals this is by stratton peterson i cannot wait to dive into this book but i want to build my confidence a little bit fast because these pages are stunning love this one i love that and i can just imagine shading every single scale on him that appeals to me I don't know I've been really even though at the moment I I'm very much needing the straight coloring you know the the simplistic coloring pages I have been very attracted to some very very detailed books and I have purchased a few um so I will show you those in a bit but yeah this is just this this one the moth i think this is going to be the page that i color first i love this one i do believe there's an owl in here as well but yeah i need to build up my skills before i do that one look at this one the rooster koala bear this just makes me think of the beautiful sarah from um chronic coloring down under whenever i see a cola bear uh, cola oh my gosh a koala bear it makes me think of, it makes me think of Sarah. There we go. There's the owl. Look at that. 
Oh, and there's moths down here. We've got some mice, a little caterpillar. Oh, absolutely perfect. And there's look, the butterfly. Oh my gosh, chameleon. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, it's definitely a treasure in my collection. I, I love it and I cannot wait to um, make a start in this book when I build up a little bit of confidence. But I definitely think the moth will be the first page I do in here. Um, and then Connor also sent me, um, I can't remember if this was Christmas or my birthday. I can't remember. I think two of the books were Christmas, two of them on my birthday, if I remember correctly. Um, so this is Disney Grand Block Michant uh, by Hatchet Heroes. And we're colouring a page from here at the moment, actually, but I'm not going to show that just yet. But yeah, this is all the villains. And um, oh, it's fantastic. Really, really good. Yeah, really good. I flagged that one because this was a, a, a page that we were, you know, possibly going to do. Um, we were talking about this one as well. Um, I love Kronk. Where is he? That one. Love that page. <laughs> it's so good. Um, yeah, just, just brilliant. So Connor, sweetheart again the bottom of my heart thank you so so much um for the books for your friendship for everything um yeah truly sweetheart thank you so much okay and then the rest these were purchased by me so i have <coughs> kawaii tarot this is by lulu mayo this book is beautiful absolutely gorgeous and i think this and the llama one they're my favorites of of her work mind you saying that i i'm really enjoying the um the million sea creatures as well but yeah i think this one and the llama one are my favorites absolutely gorgeous um double-sided well the ones at the back are double-sided these are single-sided so I imagine if you don't mind sacrificing like, you know, ink bleed through on this, you could use your alcohol markers. Um, yeah, I think I might do. I'm not, you know, not. Sorry, I can just, yeah, links give out there meow and giving it welly. Um, yeah, probably because Emmy's not paying him attention. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, the hermit. But I love where it's got like the, the little bit of sort of writing about the picture as well. You know, it says, the hermit, hang back. There is no need to be anywhere at once. In withdrawal and solitude comes wisdom or something like it. You have a light. Use it to help yourself or possibly others. What do you see? I just, oh, I love it. I've never done like tarot cards or had my tarot read or anything like that, but... I just love the book. I, I absolutely love it. And I've seen quite a few gorgeous tarot books out there in the community lately. Um, but I think for now, I'm happy with this one. But maybe in the future, I would look at adding maybe one more to my collection. Um, I did mention A Million Sea Creatures. I haven't pulled that book out. But I did buy it on Amazon when it was reduced to £3. Okay, and then I have um, Aesthetica Synthetica by Carla Magana. Of course, you guys know if she comes out with a book, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> She's my girl. I, I love her. I love her work. Um, yeah, she's just, she's incredible. And this is just, oh, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. This book I do plan on working through in order, although I have missed her and her. <laughs> But um, I've coloured this one and that was in February. Um, but yeah, these are single sided, printed on Amazon paper and you can just let loose and have fun in these books. They're, they're fantastic. Now, oh, I'm so excited about this one. I have ordered my second Daria Kakiasoy book. 
I have the from is it from Christmas to from Halloween to Christmas or something like that I have that one and now I have this one fantasy and fairy cuties um I do plan on adding all of her books to my collection because her artwork is just it's very me I feel like um but again I'm more than happy to just add like one book here and there at a time but this is just gorgeous um yeah, look at them all look 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 at all these gorgeous books um but yeah this is just oh my gosh love her she reminds me very much of my eldest tegan um so i'm going to color that so she will have beautiful brown eyes with like a hint of amber in them and then like a an auburn a, a dark brown but with like auburn and chestnut tones in her hair so yeah gorgeous i did start coloring a page in here the other day yeah i started this one but this is gonna i just find that it's going to take some layering. You can probably see all the white space here. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm really, really trying. And this was done with my... Um, I think this was my... Was this my polychromos? Hmm. Brilliant. Well done, Kate. You didn't write it down. I think this was my polys. But yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous book. And um, the I don't find the grayscale overwhelming at all. I find it absolutely perfect for what I like in grayscale. Um, and because I definitely need to practice hair and things like that. And you can see that skin is not a... I enjoy colouring it. I absolutely love colouring skin, but I'm not great at it. But I enjoy it. Um, but I just loved all the little curls on her. I really do. So I might make these like, I don't know, blue or lilac maybe. They're, okay, so they're blue here on the cover. I knew that this was the cover girl. Yeah, they're blue on here. I've got, I don't know, I have a thing about blue hair at the moment. <laughs> I'm going through a phase. But um, yeah, stunning, stunning book. Um, and then... Oh my gosh, I, I did really sort of spoil myself and I ordered um, a, a few more, well, four more actually of the Christine Karen books. I had Fairy and Fantasy 3, um, so I've ordered 1, 2, 4 and Characters Through Worlds and Times. Um, there are definitely more of her books I would like to get, but I think I am going to be good for a long time. Again, these are really kind of subtle grayscale. They are beautiful. I've noticed, though, that on some of the pages, they seem really blurry. You know, I'm looking through the camera and I'm like, that looks great. But when I'm looking at it, like my eyes, I'm looking at the page in person. It looks quite fuzzy. I don't know if that's a printing thing or whether the image is supposed to be like that. Like this is another one. It just, I don't know, it seems a bit blurry. Yeah, but still stunning nonetheless. So this is Fairy and Fantasy 2. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm just in awe of her work. I, I oh, there's just no words. That's stunning. I saw in um, on Ch Chelsea Jade Murray's video last night. I'm um, sorry. I think her channel is now Chelsea's Creative Escape. I will link her down in the description as well. Um, she had this in her completed pages video for March, and it was beautiful. And she had done like a like a metallic um, sort of like iridescent watercolor background. It was it was beautiful. She done a really really gorgeous job on this page hydrangea i love that we get the name of the page fairy and fantasy four 
think this is her newest one. She has got a book coming out. I can't think of the name of it. I think it's coming out in June. Look. Yeah, some of them just seem... I have coloured this page in my um, Colouring Heaven magazine. I've done that page already, but I'd more than happily do it again. But I'd like to just concentrate on pages that I haven't worked on so far. So that's Fairy and Fantasy 4. And then Characters Through Worlds and Times. I love this one. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, he gives me like an older Jason Momoa vibe. Um, just, you know, his eyes and his beautiful face structure here. Um... Yeah, and of course, it's got an owl, so of course I'm going to love the page. <laughs> Look at her. Stunning. The mum dragons. Jester. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, that is... Oh, that's stunning. Yeah, beautiful. So... I added those to my collection and then when I was in the works here in the UK I saw this book Enchanted Earth and I think this one was six pounds if I remember correctly and this is the newest book by the incredibly talented Melpomene Chatsapanagiotu Giotu I'm so sorry Chatsapanagiotu I'm um, yeah I'm really, really sorry. I think I just need to stop. <laughs> um, and this is gorgeous. And this is single-sided, guys. Oh, my word. So you can use whatever you want on this, pretty much. Um, yeah, look. Look at that. I, I cannot wait to start in this book. But I love everything. <laughs> I love all of them and I'm like oh it's gonna be really hard to choose love this with the fireplace and then the scene here oh her imagination is astounding it's just so magical you know and like this with the water coming down from the looks like a poppy down here and then we've got a snail it's oh it is gorgeous, isn't it? This is beautiful. Yeah, I love all of it. Absolutely all of it. So I have that one. Um, and then I purchased <coughs> 50 prehistoric miniatures. This for me was a no-brainer. <laughs> um, yeah, love, love this book. Again, it's a Camellia miniatures book, so it's got to be done. But this is so stinking cute, honestly. I just, oh, there's no words. Look, love this page. Um, and again, as always, these are single-sided. Looks like I do have a whip in here because I've got a blotter page. Yeah, I do. I'm working on that one. <laughs> no, I need to keep this page out. I've got a little March tag there, but yeah, I didn't finish it in March. I forgot about him. How could I do that? Um, yeah, I just want to go on and just add a little bit of shading and maybe do like some crayon or something. It's just like a really kind of simple and easy background. Um, looks like some of the... Oh, no, I was going to say it looks like some of the pen. It's not. It's paw prints. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. I've got paw prints on, on the book. <laughs> so that was one of the cats. <laughs> Oh well, oh well. They've they've signed it. They've signed it. They've personalised the book. Yeah, and I've coloured that one. But I I just oh, I love these books, so I'm going to put that one ooh, over there. Um, and then on a different occasion when I went in the works, they had Kirby's new book, Alien World. Um, they had this one in there for five pounds. I grabbed it. I love Kirby's work, but wowie. This is, um, this is detailed. This is just, it is, oh, it's mind-blowing. 
his artwork. I'm just astounded. I really am. There's a few pages in here that I'd really like to have a go at. I love this one. But, um, is that a double page spread? No. No, it's not. Yeah, I really, really like this one. Um, they're just amazing. Look at this as well. That's another one that I would really, really like to do. And I could imagine using my um, my new watercolour paints for sort of, you know, some of these details on here. Oh, could you imagine, like, the shine and the the colour shift and whatnot on that? You know, it just... I think those paints would look amazing. Love this one as well. I love that. Um, they're just... Oh, I mean, look at this. They're just beyond beautiful, aren't they? His talent just... It has no end. Um, yeah, very, very talented man and... I'm glad to be a proud owner of his new book. Okay, and because I've been um, wanting, you know, the more simplistic pages recently, um, I picked up two Larisa May books, and they're adorable. So I do plan on getting more. So I, I had this one first. This is Chibi Gao's colouring book. Like I said, this is by Larisa May, printed single sided. That's the page that I've done there with just alcohol markers and a little bit of gel pen and some washi tape. That ran out. Rude. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are adorable. I love that. I love that page. This one. Oh, I love all of them. What am I saying? <laughs> I love all of them. Who am I kidding? Look at her. She's like an updated version of Strawberry Shortcake, isn't she? But yeah, love this. And those paints again would look great on these planets. And um, and that one as well. So that is Chibi Girls by Larisa May. And then I also have Princess Chibi Girls by Larisa May. Again, this is single sided on Amazon paper. I keep going to like the oh, the pages that I've coloured. I've done hair like Merida. Um that's adorable. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that's that one. Okay. And then um, I have one, two, three, four, five. Where is that other? Okay. So I have six books from Amazon Japan. Please know that they weren't all purchased at once. So, yeah. Um, but this is the last of the ones that I wanted to show you today. This is the Small World Colouring Book, I believe. This is by Ursula Schwab. This is um, via the company Colourful World. And I love her work. And I saw this on Colouring with Kay and... Um, is it Wendy's Colouring now? I, I'm so sorry, Wendy, sweetheart. But I will link Kay and Wendy's channels in the description for you as well. And I saw this and because occasionally I'm like, I want something really detailed to just chip away at, you know? And I really want to work on some detailed pages. So I bought this. And I love it. I absolutely absolutely love it and I can definitely see myself doing every single page in this book this is what I'm chipping away on at the moment <laughs> uh yeah I haven't worked on it in a little while but I'm loving it absolutely loving it just enjoying taking my time no rush um so yeah doing that one I've got a few other pages flagged yeah this one of the like the 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 butterfly, the plus um blah, 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 the butterfly garden, um which is gorgeous and I can see lots of sort of gorgeous colours and 
metallic paint and, and glitter gel pens and stuff on that. But I'd like to do the the actual sort of greenhouse thing. I'd like to do that like a blue turquoise colour with maybe a hint of like a lime green. Um, and then do the foliage a bit more darker and then the butterflies in really beautiful, bright, vibrant colours. So I have plans for that page. Look at this one. Kangaroos. Again, this makes me think of Sarah from Chronic Colouring. Um, I don't know if she's watching this, but Sarah, if you are, sweetheart, I'm thinking of you. I'm sending you all of my love and hugs. And um, yeah, to you and your family. So we've got kangaroos, you've got birds. I don't know, is that maybe like a kookaburra? Um, yeah, look. Gorgeous, we've got bats, we've got koala bears. Is it a galah? <laughs> maybe, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not up on my um, Australian animals. But um, yeah, I love this one too. This this is like perfect for spring, really, isn't it? This page. Oh, that's lovely. Hmm. I'm gonna. <laughs> I know. I know. I've got enough flags in the book as it is, but you know what? I'm gonna flag that one too. But yeah, they're beautiful. And oh, and this one, like the Sahara kind of thing. I've got that one flagged. Um, yeah, I think that's absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't wait to work on that one. But yeah, that's the Small World colouring book. And it's nice, it's a different size and format to Ashley's other books, um, which are kind of chunky and they're square. Whereas this is, you know, really, really nice nice size and um i think it's stitched as well it's not um i'm just trying to see mm, I, don't, mm, I don't know maybe it's not i don't know how this book is held together oh well, maybe it is glue bound i don't know it just feels a lot more sturdy than the other books in in her repertoire Okay, and then these are the Amazon Japan books. So again, Kay, sweetheart, I love you, but I'm blaming you for this one. Um, I've seen this on Kay and Wendy's channel. And I was like, oh, I love that book, but oh, I don't know if I could do that. Now, if you want detail, these pages will give you that. Let me zoom in a bit. Can I get a... Oh, too much. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, this book will definitely give you detail. Look at that. How gorgeous. Um, I am working on a page in here, but it's... Yeah, to say it's slow is, is um, an understatement. I'm working on this one. Um, like the, the bookshelves and things, because it reminded me of Aaron. Because he really liked his books. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I wanted to colour this one. But there is a reference picture in the front. So I'm trying to stick to those colours. But look at that. I love this page. I think after this one, this might be the next one that I do. Because whenever I look through the book, I always stop on this one. And look around at it. And I'm like, oh, I love it. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Some pages are more detailed than others. But um, yeah, like you've got the like the reference pictures here at the front, like the original paintings and stuff. Um, yeah, I tagged this one because that is the one that I'm colouring. And I want to try and use that sort of golden ochre and sort of like turquoisey teal um color palette so yeah I, i'm gonna really try and do my best to stick to the colors on this one but it is beautiful and um i was so glad to find that on amazon japan because i know it, it 
wasn't on there for quite some time. So yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna just zoom out for the next one. So the next one is the Disney, I don't know, I didn't, yeah, I didn't translate it, I'm really sorry. It's this beautiful Winnie the Pooh book and um, this was enabled by my beautiful friend Jamie at Jamie's Colouring Love. I saw this on her channel and I was just like, yep, yeah, it's, it's, it's Winnie the Pooh, I love it. I absolutely love it. There are two pages in the back that I recognise from the Christopher Robin deluxe colouring book that I have. These two. But I don't care. I don't mind that they're in here at all. I think they're beautiful. And the very sketchy style of them makes me want to paint, you know, paint on them. But it's just... A beautiful book it's double-sided the paper's uh, paper oh my god goodness the paper is pretty good um it's nice it does feel quite smooth but it's beautiful and it's, it's Winnie the Pooh what's you know what's not to love what's not to love about Winnie the Pooh I'm really sorry about the lighting it's come over really kind of gray and overcast outside but yeah, and then you've got some kind of like example things in the front. So that is that one. And that is by um, Inko Kotoriyama. Um, okay, and then the, um, not Matchstick Mouse, oh my gosh, the Wild Mouse Yururi books. Um, this is by the same artist, and this is the Bunny book. And it is beautiful. And I do have... A page that I'm working on in here with my Albrecht Dura watercolor pencils but it's just so gorgeous and I'm loving this art style it's just uh, it really calls to me and kind of draws me in um, I love it it's very it's very soft and delicate um, yeah, I just, it's such a pleasure working and colouring, you know, this artwork. This is what I'm working on at the moment. And this is with my Albrecht Dura watercolour pencils. Um, I've got a bit of, a bit of shadowing, not much, but a little bit. And it's, you know, a little bit bubbled where I've used watercolour, but I'm not... I'm not particularly bothered to be quite honest. I've gone out the lines in some places, but when I go in and like sort of shade and stuff, that will be disguised anyway. But yeah, I I love that one. I just think this book is so beautiful. Um, and that is did I did I I didn't do that. One. I thought I did. Maybe it's the, the cat one that I translated. Um, so the next one is the cat book um, by Moko. Um, and again, same artist as Wild Mouse Yururi and the rabbit book that I've just shown you. And it's just beautiful. The, the line art in this one... Um, it's more of a, kind of more of a, a burnt sienna, you know, or maybe with a hint of espresso, you know, it's more like a brown, brown line art with like a, you know, like a red undertone to it. But, come on, so cute. Oh, can you imagine this, Dan? All the crystals, wow. You could really add some shine and sparkle to those pages. I love that. Oh my gosh, look. He's falling asleep, look. Having a little picnic and this little guy is picking some apples from the tree. Oh my goodness. That's so delightful. Look. Yeah. This is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I'm sure I did. Yeah. Um, the Cat General Store and the Magic Key. 
so there you go <laughs> i did i did remember on that one it took a while but um yeah i i remembered to translate it on that one okay and then very recently i ordered these two from amazon japan i ordered this one um, it kept coming up in my recommendations and I was looking at the, you know, like the example pages it gives you on Amazon. And I, I just, I fell in love with it. Um, I don't know what the book is called or who it's by. Um... It says here, Kuyori Mori. Kuyori Mori. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry. Um. Yeah. I. I. I don't know. I'm afraid. I've got example pages here in the back. How beautiful! Look at this. Gorgeous. Um. Yeah. And then we've got our artwork, and they are printed single sided. And again. This just really, really appeals to me. Um, it is the pages are perforated, so if you wanted to take it out and frame it or give it as a gift, you absolutely could. But they you have chapters on them. Um, the name of the picture is here on the back. So this one is called "A Warrior Bedecked in Flowers." so yeah they're gorgeous and again i'm just really liking the the line art i'm just finding stuff like this really appealing yeah there's that one i pointed out on the back look at her how gorgeous yeah beautiful 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 book and then finally we've reached the end I finally ordered this one. This has been in my basket on Amazon Japan for such a long time. I think since last year. Um, and oh, I finally got it. So this is by Yoshimi Sekiguchi. I'm not sure what the book is called again, I'm afraid. So I've got these example pages in the back thumbnails there and then we have our pages and these are beautiful really really gorgeous the artwork is stunning this is beautiful I've looked at this page a few times I love it. But yeah, there's just nothing not to love in this book. Um, the paper feels nice. It has got it has got a tooth to it. Um, I'm just wondering how it would take watercolour pencils. But um, yeah, beautiful. Look at that. With like the biscuits and the flowers and the treats and stuff. This. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So that is it, my lovelies. That is um, my haul and happy mail and obviously the pencils from our text that I received for review. The, this has been since like November, December last year. So yes, it looks like a, a lot. Yes, I do have a few other things, but um, I couldn't I couldn't remember everything as I was pulling books out. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you. Um, as I said at the beginning, it wasn't to brag or to show off. It was just to show you guys what I have added to my collection. Um, and also you may see something here that you haven't seen before that you might be interested in. And if that's the case and you would like a link, let me know in the comments and I will do my absolute best to get that for you. Um, 
all the channels that I have mentioned in this video, I will link in the description. So please go and show them all some love. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to join me and to watch this video. Thank you so, so, so much. Take care, my loves. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.